your love that holds me together Lately you say he been killing the vibe Gotta be sick of this guy Pull up skirt, get in the right Let's Welcome in everybody, it's the coach And you're tuned in to Madden 19 On EA Sports On tap, we've got what should be A fairly intriguing matchup Between the Jacksonville Jaguars And the New York Giants with that, let's get up to MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. This crowd a few minutes ago stirred into action at the sight of their men in blue emerging from the MetLife tunnels. We're set to go as the Giants get ready to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. It'll be the now 37-year-old quarterback calling the shots in his 15th season at the helm of the Giants, Eli Manning. When you look at the numbers that Eli Manning posted in 2017, there's plenty of cause for concern. Lowest yards per completion of his career, fewest yards passes since 2008. His numbers continue to drop in terms of touchdowns and rising in terms of interceptions. But he's one of the fiercest competitors in the league, even if you can't tell it by his demeanor. And no, you don't hear about his workout program like Tom Brady and Drew Brees. But this is a guy that burns to win and wants to get back on the top of the heap. They go play action here on first down. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. Now the first running back drafted this year at Saquon Barkley. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Looking to throw on second down. Manning. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. Oh, he sheds himself free. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. His first catch, good for 14 there, and a first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to where we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. It's Barkley on the counter. Oh, a good move at the five. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. So second and goal, and standing by himself in the backfield, Barkley. He'll get it up the middle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. So not much to speak of scoring-wise in this first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's the Giants with a football here as we begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Right, right, right. 
Manning now on third and goal. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Telvin Smith. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The offense stays out zebra, there. Zebra, zebra. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Giants take it right down and score on the opening drive. Showing some grits and some guts going for it there. Fourth and goal, pounding it in. And being rewarded for that confidence in the team, huh? The coach saying, let's go ahead and get this. And how about the guys up front firing out, finding a little bit of a crack for them to get through? Touchdown. I love it. Rosas good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Rosas now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They'll be let out by their quarterback from Central Florida. It's Blake Bortles. And you can see why he was the number three pick when he came out in the NFL draft. 6'5", sturdy guy, strong arm, led his UCF team to a big bowl victory over Baylor, and runs the ball way better than he's ever given credit for. Bortles leads the Jags up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Four and a half, the first down carry. And he'll get this one across the 20, but only up to about the 21. Tackle made that time by Dalvin Tomlinson. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down. Heavy rush, and down he goes. Alec Ogletree. Leading the surge there, he drops him for a loss of six. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. On third down, Fournette. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And the Jaguars send out their punter. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. This is taken at the 18. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now out come the Giants. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in this seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. Tough running, but not a lot to show for it. They stop and shy of the 25. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. To throw on second down. Manning flushed out right. And some room to run now. And avoids the contact by sliding. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Four down, four down. Eight, eight, check 24, watch the four. Wait, wait. 52. Good. 280. Right, Play action. Manning. 
And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Throwing on first down is Manning. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Shepard. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 more on that one and another first down. Manning going to come up on first and 10. And he's a perfect 5 for 5 here to begin the game. On first down, Manning. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. Again, it's Manning. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Odell Beckham nine-yard touchdown grab and the Giants are able to grow their lead that score was not a game clincher by any stretch of the imagination but the other team now has to be careful to not let this game begin to slip away Rosas to add the extra point PAT up and good by Rosas. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays. And it was finished off by a touchdown by the New York Giants. Rosas now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Jaguars' offense as they get set here. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically, those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Now T.J. Elder. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Green 80. Green 80. Green 80. Throwing on first down is Borders. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Dalvin Tomlinson able to drop him for a loss of four. Bortles to throw on second down. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. And the Jaguars send out their punter. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Start on the ground. This is Stewart on first. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 
So we've reached halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in front as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Jaguars now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. It's a loss of two, now third down. The last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction, so now what can they do on third? On third and long, it's Bortles. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. It's not fair, and now room to run. A good return there, 17 yards. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That Their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Yeah, still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Looking to throw on second down. Manning caught right side. It's Lewis his way forward. The gain of 39 that time. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. To throw on second down. Manning. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. A strong safety, Barry Church, all over that one and knocked it away. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. He rifles one that's intercepted. A.J. Boye with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Charles, when plays like that work, it's a thing to behold, but sometimes we see why they're very deep in the playbook. And how many times have we been at practice and heard all the other guys chirping about, you know, I used to play quarterback in high school. I can do this until it becomes a game situation. Not quite the same in many cases. It's Jaguar football, but a little work to do for them. They trail here as we start the fourth. Mike 39, 
Again, it's Fournette. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. All right, Brandon, you know me as well as anyone. You know I don't usually advocate abandoning things during a game, but here we are in the second half. I think it's time to change things up. Let the running game go a little bit. Let's get to the passing game, and if you still want to get in the hands of the runner, maybe you swing it to him, throw it to him a little bit. Try it that way. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. Have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four-down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that on their play sheet the entire time. So it's Jaguar football here okay, as we okay. welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now Bortles, got to have this one. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Landon Collins. From their own two, Charles, they opted to throw it instead of run it. We saw the outcome. I think what a lot of teams count on is defenses to stack the line of scrimmage, trying to force a safety or force a turnover there. But if you've got a good defensive front, you just allow them to play the run and everyone else stays ready, and they were, and they picked that one off. Here's a give to Barkley. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Manning looking to throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Shepard. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And now the Jags going to signal for another timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Manning now five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. A handoff to Barkley. Nice little juke. And he'll find his way down inside the ten to the nine-yard line. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Play fake. Manning. Flush to his right. And he will score. Touchdown, Giants. Eli Manning. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Giants use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in? Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking running back, fullback. <laughs> it takes you a while before you get to the quarterback. Rosas good with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. A drive there of just four plays and a nine-yard run on the end of it. Rosas now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The Jags offense now gets set and heads back onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Bortles will try again on second down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Alec Ogletree leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. From the gun on third down, Bortles. He's going to let it fly. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Eli Apple. 
Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll attack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. They begin with a run by Barkley. And some room to work. Fancy footwork in midfield. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. And having built that kind of a lead, they're able to do whatever they want right now. All momentum on their side, especially now running the football. Yeah, you're talking about a defense being on their toes. They don't know what's going to hit them next at this point. No, they went from toes to heels, and they're trying to figure out how to get back to the toes part. And dropped at the 35, but able to display some strength on the run. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. They keep it on the ground again to score, and he gets it down to the 32. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. And Brandon, this is where it pays to have a big back who can take over a football game, especially in the fourth quarter when you've got the lead. Your ability to not just wear people down, but close games out. Now Saquon Barkley, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt, the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is. And what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team, there's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them going along with those zeros in the time column, too? So that'll do it for us. Don't, don't play with it. Don't be this silence. Ay. Still not understanding this logic. Ay. I'm back and I'm, and I'm better. I want you bad as ever.